Assalamu alaikum and hello. Let's continue with the new chapter which is about chemical equation and stoichiometry. There are two subtopics in this chapter. So let's go to the each subtopics of them. So for 4.1, we are going to learn about chemical equation where in this part you are going to learn how to determine the oxidation number of an element in a chemical formula and of course you are going to know how to write and balance chemical equation and also redox equation and for the second subtopic 4.2 based on stoichiometry you are going to be introduced into a lot of calculations in this part especially you are going to calculate based on stoichiometric calculation where you are going to know about reacting masses and moles volume of gases based on stp or rtp and also the volume and concentration of solution in this subtopic as well, you are going to learn about the definition of limiting reactant, theoretical and actual yield, and also percentage yield. And combining all those three together, you are going to perform calculation involving the limiting reactant and percentage yield. So let's go to the first subtopic where we are going to learn about how to determine the oxidation number and also write and balance the equation so depends on the question given whether the question asks you balance the chemical equation or redox equations so before we go in more depth about this part for part one in this video i'm going to focus about redox reaction so let's go to in the introduction of redox reaction so what is redox reaction so redox reaction is a reaction that involves both reduction and oxidation which means only two processes exist for redox reaction the first process is reduction and the second process is oxidation and you can understand that the compound can be oxidized which means it will undergo oxidation or the compound can be reduced which means it can undergo reduction so let's go to the definition of each process so for oxidation what is oxidation it means that the process where the substance loses one or more electrons and take a look here i use the term electrons and the second thing you have to know that during oxidation process the oxidation number will be increased so you have to take note about this phrase increase in oxidation number and any compounds that undergo oxidation that compound act as reducing agent which means it is a reductant for example i have sodium where in order to achieve the stability it will lose one electron so in order for you to write in the equation you will produce na plus plus e minus e minus here means that you donate one electrons which means that the oxidation number for sodium originally is zero because it's a neutral atom and when it donates or loses uh, one electrons it means that the charge will be positive one and you plus with one electron it means that the charge will be negative one so when you add up both on your left is zero the total charge and for both on the right positive one minus one is going to be zero so as you can see here you add up you will get zero which means it's equal between these two so that's how you want to write the half equation for oxidation it means that the electron loose so it should be put on your right side so let's go to reduction 
So what is reduction? Reduction is a process where the substance gains one or more electrons. So dia terbalik dengan oxidation. And in this part, the oxidation number four compound that undergo uh, reduction will decrease. And that compound also can be acted as oxidizing agent. So it is an oxidant. For example, I have hydrogen. So hydrogen accept one electron to produce H minus. As you can see here, the oxidation number for hydrogen is zero and the oxidation number for electron is negative one and oxidation number for H minus is negative one. So when you add up on your left side, 0 minus 1 equals to negative 1 is going to be the same on your right side, negative 1. So this is how you write the half equation for reduction where your electrons must be gained. So it's going to be, uh, you have to put it on your right, uh, left side. So a few tips that you want to understand more, uh, if you under you want to use these illustrations, it's fine for your better understanding. For example, I have the reducing agent. So reducing agent, with, it means that this compound A or element A, anything that's given from the questions, it loses electrons. So, it means that A is oxidized. Next one, I have oxidizing agent. Where for oxidizing agent is B, where B gains electrons. It means that B undergoes process reduction. So, B is reduced. So, this one undergo process oxidation. And this one undergo process reduction. So that's how you want to understand about the definition and the differences between reduction and oxidation. I hope you can differentiate between these two processes of reduction. And remember, you have to take note about the keywords and the phrases where it's going to be very easy for you to answer the question in the future. So please, you have to understand and memorize them. So that's all for this video. I hope you are clear with my explanation. And I'll see you in the next part. Thank you.